Insulin resistance is a disorder that occurs when cells in your muscles, fat, and liver don't respond well to the hormone insulin. Insulin resistance can be temporary or chronic, meaning long-lasting, and it's treatable in some cases. What does insulin do? Insulin is produced by your pancreas, which is an organ that sits right behind your belly button. Insulin is needed for glucose, a form of sugar, to enter the body's cells. When your body is insulin resistant, your cells can't easily absorb glucose from your blood. And as a result, the pancreas makes more insulin to help the process along. What happens when the insulin level in the blood is too high? As long as your pancreas can make enough insulin to keep up, your blood sugar levels will stay in a healthy range. If your cells become too resistant to insulin, it can lead to elevated blood sugar levels. This is called hyperglycemia. When that happens, not only are cells not getting the essential source of energy they need, but the high blood sugar levels can damage the body. Over time, this can lead to prediabetes and then to type 2 diabetes. What are the symptoms of insulin resistance? If you have insulin resistance, but your pancreas can make enough insulin to keep your blood sugar levels in a healthy range, you won't have any symptoms. But if over time your insulin resistance increases, it can lead to elevated blood sugar, which does have some symptoms. These include increased thirst, frequent urination or peeing, increased hunger, blurred vision, and headaches. What causes insulin resistance? It isn't clear exactly what causes insulin resistance, but a family history of type 2 diabetes, being overweight, especially around the waist, and being inactive can all raise the risk. All adolescents get a bit more insulin resistant during puberty, meaning their insulin has to work harder to do the same job given all the growth and hormones in the body. The risk of insulin resistance is also higher in certain groups, including those with African American, Asian American, and Hispanic or Latino ethnicity. One thing to remember, you do not have to be overweight to have insulin resistance. You can't tell if someone has insulin resistance just by looking at them. Can insulin resistance be prevented? There are some strategies to help prevent insulin resistance. One is to focus on eating foods that don't spike insulin. Some foods are spiky foods, or in more formal terms, they have a high glycemic index. Candy, cookies, cakes, sodas, and juices fall into this category. So do refined grains like white bread, white rice, instant noodles, chips, pretzels, bagels, and processed cereals. Some less spiky foods, those with a low glycemic index, include things like fruits, vegetables, and legumes like beans and lentils. Although these foods can have carbohydrates in them, they also have fiber, which helps them to be less spiky. These types of carbohydrates are locked up, meaning that your body has to do more work to unlock these carbohydrates before they can impact blood sugar levels. Proteins such as chicken, fish, and tofu, along with healthy fats such as nuts or nut butters, avocado, and olive oil are also less spiky. Combining foods and how you schedule your meals and snacks can help regulate insulin levels. Moving your body is also helpful. Every time you exercise, you make your body more sensitive to insulin and reduce your insulin resistance. From first conversations to treatment, Boston Children's Hospital is committed to keeping children and adolescents healthy. For more information on insulin resistance, please speak with your primary care provider or visit bostonchildrens.org.